Hey, man, don't mind me, man. I'm just over here digging on uh, the big homie Godzilla, you know. He's sparking off, kind of like Leviathan, kind of like Leviathan. He's in the waters. Uh, my children were just kind of watching that. Um, and, I mean, they, they make it so damn clear that the dragon drop it's all about the vortex. It's all about the wormholes. The wormholes, man. And they keep saying it, man. Wormholes, you know. You know, he's he, he shot through a wormhole. Popped out in Venezuela. Shot back through a wormhole. Jumped out in China. Now he's in Japan. Popped through a wormhole. You know, popped back up in California. Now he's over there in Beverly Hills, man. Now he's in Beverly Hills, man. Godzilla be freaking these wormholes, man. Godzilla's the king of the wormhole, man. <laughs> but this term wormhole, man, got me, you know, scratching my head bone, right? I mean, in that last joint, you know, I was going to show a clip, but I don't even feel like dealing with these jabronis, man. Fair use in your caboose, you know what I'm talking about. This is for a, a criticism, you know, scholarship teaching. I'm not even showing a clip, but let's go. <laughs> and yeah, there is a little tease of this underground city. So underwater city, once they get into this vortex situation and he pops out and you see this whole city underwater. Now, I guess it's supposed to be around the Bermuda Triangle. But what they keep saying about the Bermuda Triangle, ships becoming a missing in some type of vortex. Nobody want to talk about it. They also call it the Dragon's Triangle. The Dragon's triangle and godzilla king of the monsters one of the best moments with dr so sarazawa and godzilla before the nuclear device was initiated while he helped heal and upgrade godzilla's power it was destroyed and the location of godzilla was resting at while exploring this underwater kingdom it had ruins depicting not only titans such as godzilla but human civilization as well you can see a little bit of it here. It's not that clear, but go watch the movie. You know what I mean? You'll see a little sneak peek of this whole kingdom of the water. Once he went through the vortexes, or once he went through the wormhole. Now, the location was never officially revealed, but considering the hollow earth vortex was located in Bermuda, it is likely that the ruins were located in the Atlantic Ocean when the Monarch team is observing ancient carvings and writings in the ruins, it's noteworthy how similar these were to the civilizations of classic antiquity. This includes Greece, Rome, and the spirit of, the, of these civilizations. We can't help but think of the fictional underwater city Atlantis, while a version of Atlantis has appeared in the Mothra film series in the 1990s. Most people immediately went to connect this underwater city with Atlantis. All right. So, you know, let's let's put that to the side for a second. Let's put Atlantis to the side. Because this ain't really about Atlantis, but it is about the vortexes. Right? The sea dragons that's popping through these worm holes. Right? Worm holes. And I never thought of why they call these things worm holes. Or black holes. <laughs> the sea dragon that guards the underwater kingdom of Mu. Okay. He's talking about Manda. Unlike Atlantis, Mu was located in the Pacific. So we have a dragon guarding Mu. They call Manda. Manda, Manda, Manda. Mu is located in the Pacific Ocean, but their cities had similar architecture, albeit Mu was closer to ancient Egypt than ancient Rome or Greece. Because of this, it is very possible the underwater kingdom was an amalgamation of both Atlantis and Mu. So that's the big frequency war, right? Dragon versus serpent, right? Because <laughs> one is synthetic and one is OG original. But yeah, you know, let's... Let's put the Atlantis move conversation to the side. I mean, because we're just really talking. We're just really talking about worm holes, man. <laughs> and I ask you, my naga, 
why they keep calling these things wormholes, man? I mean, I don't know, man. I, I don't know what you call it, man. An epiphany, whatever, man. But worm, my naga, wormholes. <laughs> I mean, a lot of y'all popping off. I know you get it. Wormholes, man. Man, wormholes, man. <laughs> All right, wormholes, man. What's this? What are you looking at? What are you looking at right now? Managa? What are you looking at, man? What's a worm, my Naga? We're thinking about little creepy, crawly little things, man. No, man, no. You got to speak their language. You got to speak their English. You got to go to etymologies. Just whether you spell it W-O-R-M or W-Y-R-M. Managa, a worm, is a huge, limbless, or wingless dragon or dragon-like creature, man. True or false, uh, Godzilla breathes fire. True or false, Godzilla shoots plasma laser beams out of his mouth bone, similar to Leviathan. And speaking of Leviathan, you know what I mean? I mean, or the Leviathan class of dragons. Now we see when we talk about the great, the great deep, what they call hollow earth, right? You're not on the ball, so... Don't think about hollow earth like a ball. Think about the depth, right, of the of the water, right, of the earth. There's layers to the earth. It's not just, it's not a ball, and it's not like it's not hollow per se. It's just that there's layers, right? There's, there's levels to this. You can go within the earth, right? You can go within mama, right? Mama's the earth. You can go into the heart bone of mama. That's not... Uh, you know, they say she all, but that's not like an evil situation. But, you know, you, you can have that as well. You know what I mean? You're just talking about going within your mother. You're just talking about going within mama. You know what I mean? And within the, this is these vortexes and portals. You know what I mean? Like these great silicon giant trees. They still have the root systems within the water. Portals, my naga. Portals, my naga. Portals, my naga. Or, I'm sorry, worm holes, my naga. What's a worm hole? What's a worm? A worm is a wingless dragon. A worm is a wingless dragon. Last time that I checked, last time that I checked, Godzilla ain't got no wings, man. <laughs> but he's popping in worm holes, man. Huh? Worm holes are dragon. Holes or vortexes. These are the dragon vortexes, which is what this whole Bermuda or Dragon's Triangle situation is all about. I'm just having it. I'm, I'm, I'm just. I'm just spark. I'm just popping off, my night. You know what I mean? Dark waters, the most mysterious places in the sea. The Bermuda Triangle are infamous for making sea vessels mysteriously disappear. Not only, not the only body. Body of water with dark secrets, seemingly paranormal activity. There are a few other nautical locations where vessel crews have been known to inexplicably vanish without a trace. So check it. You got the Bermuda Triangle, right? You see how it's located around the Caribbean situation. Because you got a lot of that energy, Atlantis energy, right? The, the Bermuda Triangle, a western a region of the western part of North Atlantic Ocean defined by points in Bermuda, Florida, Puerto Rico has long-standing reputation for mysteriously swallowing boats. All right, check it out. Some people even claim that it contains a wormhole. <laughs> Say it with me. Wormhole. Right, but what's a worm? A worm is a dragon. But you're talking about the dragons of the sea, a sea serpent, right? A sea serpent, huh? All right, quick, you know, we're just talking. 
we just talking uh, etymologies. Hey man, shout out to Let Us Find the Truth, man. My my naga man, a high forever for you know putting us on this etymology line drop, man. Let's go. All right, man. We've been talking about dragons in the throne. You know, we've been talking about Sarahs, but you know, let's let's keep on our toes with this one, man. Leviathan is a what? Sea monster, a sea serpent. I'm sorry, to the Christians, he might be Satan. To the Christians, you know, sometimes regarded as a form of Satan, but Satan is an adversary, right? Satan is an adversary. So who is the adversary of the giant sea monster? Well, who sunk Atlantis? <laughs> who brought down Atlantis? Oh, just the big homie Leviathan. He is the Satan of Atlantis. <laughs> he is to the Christian, their Satan, my not. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. He's also a he's also a a worm, my naga. Because he ain't got no wings, right? He's a wingless dragon. He's a wingless dragon. He's a sea serpent. What's a wormhole? Wormhole. Some people even claim that it contains a wormhole, dragon hole, dragon layer, into another dimension. So these dragon vortexes, yeah, they can pop you around and navigate you, but they can navigate you other places too. And some of these ships go, you know, f slip into these vortexes. You know what I mean? Or who knows? You know what I mean? Others believe that the area is a UFO hotspot. Well, UFO, unidentified flying or a USO, unidentified submerged object. But we're just talking wormholes. Let's go. Devil's Sea. What's the Devil's Sea? Also known as the Dragon's Triangle, my nag. Okay, so we got the Dragon's Triangle or Devil's Sea, just like the just like the book, The Devil's Tree of El Dorado. The Devil's Tree is referring to the dragons because they say they see these leathery wings and dragons all over the place. And we're just talking Mount Roraima, El Dorado. Uh-oh. Devil's Sea. See, devil, right? Because they refer to your dragons as devils. I'm sorry sometimes referred to as a form of Satan, a form of Satan. So what's this devil business about? Leviathan, sea monsters, and sea serpents, wormholes. But what's a worm? A sea serpent, a dragon of the sea, a marine dragon. Monog you could have the dragons on the land like the so-called dinosaurs. <coughs> you can have the uh, dragons, you know, flying dragons. Dragons of the sea. Sea serpents. Giant sea fish. Hmm. But to the Christians, he might be a form of Satan. So they like to call these type of things. Uh, they like to call them uh, devils, right? Because the devil is their form of Satan. Code word, Leviathan. Code word, sea, sea serpent. Code word, worm, wormholes, wingless dragons. Code word, devil, devil sea. Also known as dragon's triangle. Devil, dragon, dragon, devil. Or the Formosa Triangle and the Pacific Bermuda Triangle, all the same thing. Worms, right? Leviathans, right? Godzillas. I said, I said, Godzillas, huh? What are they still protecting? What vortexes, my naga? What dimensions? Why did they have to come over here to hijack us like this, man? What was so important about getting a hold of this underwater situation? You know what I mean? I mean, we got so much pop-offness, but we're just talking about the worms, the sea monsters. To them, Godzilla would be a form of Satan, right? He's just a sea monster, a form of Satan or an adversary. 
Because what's a satan? Hmm, popular name, supreme evil spirit. Oh, from Hebrew. <laughs> it's just an adversary, man. One who plots against another. An, in, an enemy, right? Someone who opposes you. One who opposes. You are a devil to them because you're opposing their hijackness. Right, and they are a devil to you because they're opposing your freedom. A form of Satan, a form of opposition. Leviathan is a form of opposition. Because he don't play for their team. Right, he's always trying to fight just for humanity. He never goes around jamming people up, only in their hijackness, man. <laughs> so... You know, what's, what's this devil see about? You know, just, you know, like paranormal activity, paranormal locations, lost contact, you know, people coming up, missing, people popping back up. Research also explores natural environmental changes and such as controversial anomalies in the Dragon's Triangle. One of these explanations is the vast field of methane hydrates present at the bottom of the ocean. What's that about? In the Dragon's Triangle, methane cl clathrates, hydrate gas, will explode when it's r when it rises above 18 Celsius, 64 Fahrenheit. Methane hydrate gases are described as ice-like deposits that break off the bottom and rise, forming bubbles. All right, okay. Another explanation for this paranormal activity could be undersea volcano. What do volcanoes have to do with dragons? That's where they sleep. <laughs> and that's where they pop off from. They are dragon layers, my knock. So the volcanoes connected with this vortex, connected with the wormhole, connected with the devil, right? The Satan, the adversary, like Leviathan. But remember, Book of Job, Book of Job, Leviathan is the plaything of Hawa. Leviathan is Hawa's pet dragon. Personal, so he can't be their Satan. Well, I guess he is their Satan, you know, because they're not rocking with Hawa. So now it all comes together. Who sunk Atlantis? <laughs> Who's the opposition to Atlantis? And there you have it. Good old <laughs> Godzilla, right? <laughs> hey, man. Love the treehugger.com. We're just talking about these black holes. And since black holes not only exist in the cold distance of deep space, they also exist right here on Earth. I think their whole concept of a black hole is based on the concept of what's happening right here, my naga, right here in the swirling of the oceans. Because remember, what, 90 something percent of the ocean is still undiscovered? Because you got the waters beneath. And you got the waters of the deep and the waters of the deep, deep. Come on, man. Everything is hiding in the oceans. <laughs> Everything's in the vortexes. As the University of Miami have discovered that many large ocean eddies, eddies are on Earth are mathematically equivalent to the black holes of space, meaning nothing trapped by them can escape. So you go into another dimension. You can't get out unless you got the keys, I guess, right? The keys. Let's check this from here. Now, these ocean vort vortices are so tight that they act like a container for the water trapped inside them. So it's like a boundary, right? Water temperatures and salt contents within the eddies can be different from the surrounding ocean. Have you seen those oceans within oceans? And they have a different type of salt or sulfur content or whatever the case is but it's clearly a whole nother set of water as they drift across the sea they act as transport transport for microorganisms like plankton okay 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 man we just you know i'm just belly flopping in this you know? all right so yeah that's a quick article man i mean you know it just got my attention because we're talking about black holes 
in Earth's ocean. And when you look at all the stuff they say about the black hole <laughs> and how that can suck us into a whole other dimension and all this stuff like that, and you see, okay, what's really going on right here, right? In the dragon's triangle. A star is so massive that it gravitationally crushes itself to the point that its atoms fuse together. Throwing water on the sun would simply increase the sun's mass. Yada, yada, yada. All right. So it says the ocean can only not only increase the mass of a black hole, but it can potentially sustain it. I mean, you know, here's some just drop on this whole concept of, of space. It's just based on water. You know, that's why NASA trains underwater. Everything's underwater, 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 because space is water. And if they want to go to new frontiers, if they truly want to blast into outer space, they're going to have to blast into outer water, my night. You dig? Now, like Giannini said, you can do that by going straight into more worlds beyond the pole, right? You don't have to go up for all that. But if you want to go up, <laughs> You're going to have to, you know, go through a whole other situation of, uh, you know, uh, magnetism, you know, and, of course, water. And, you know, I've just been digging on this, you know, not to get to Star Trek warp speed, deep spacey. We've been talking about warp speed. You see all this is connected with the wormhole because in order to get to warp speed, you got to form a wormhole. And who who got the drop on the wormhole? Who's the worm? Who is the the wingless dragon, the sea serpent? Who is the adversary <laughs> to the hijack? Who destroyed Atlantis, my noggin? And who still got the drop on Atlantis? Man, over here, over here hiding the goods. Who's over here creeping around hiding the goods? <laughs> Who still got the drop? Yeah, I just want to share that, man. I mean, it's, it's, you know, interesting to say the least. A wormhole on Earth could mean so many possibilities for the human race. However many questions could arise. If we can enter a black hole, could we survive sp spaghettification? If we can survive spaghettification, then where would the wormhole take us? I mean, all these questions around wormholes for you to dig on. Huh? Because when they say Godzilla's popping through these wormholes, we're talking about jumping through these dragon, you know, uh, layers. My God. I mean, these are just layers of dragon frequency. I'm sure it connects with the ley lines, right? I'm sure it connects with the ley lines, also known as dragon lines. I mean, if you start, re you know, reconning the connection with these dragon lines, you know, just put in a dragon line, you know. Ley lines, vortex, dragon lines. You know, have fun with this, man. You know, I'm just leading you, leading you to the wall. All right, they're also called dragon paths. So ley lines are dragon paths. All right. The magic of ley lines, vortexes. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. I can't make this stuff up, man. I'm just belly flopping with y'all. This is, you know, a belly flop session one on one, digging on the worm, you know, digging on the worm, man. Sometimes you got to slip and slide, man. You know what I mean? Through these dragon lines. Okay. Look at how these vortexes connect. So when you watch Godzilla, they got a, they got a graph like this, and they're showing how he's popping in and out of these vortexes. These dragon lines, these worm holes, right? And then they're building their ancient sacred sites all around the world or all across the plain. The lane lines are also called spirit lines. Spirit makes sense because you're just talking angels, you're just talking dragons, angels, dragons, seraphim. Yeah, you know I mean, go get the drop. The aboriginals called them dream lines. They're also known as dragon lines, my not. So when you start connecting, you get connecting the vortexes that Godzilla's 
you know, that Leviathan, that the sea serpent or the dragons, you know, are commanding, you know, are protecting. Power spots were created. This is the cross, right? The tau X marks the spot, right? Particularly notable supernatural areas said to be cross points between energy fields. It's all about the energy, frequency, vibration in the Earth's grid. And they tried to hijack this with their Christ conscious grid. But dodge the hijack, my noggin. You know, you're talking about your framing, your shaper, and connecting directly with Hawa. When you do that, you connect with your natural ama, right? The veins. We are connected to Mother Earth through subtle electrical currents that runs through the entire plane. Plane. So, Managa, imagine if you were connected with this electricity, this magnetism. How can we build our civilization if the Naga was connected and not being hijacked? We got back to our mama's veins, right? The blood, the energy, the currency, the ley lines or the dragon lines are said to be able to take information or energy from these higher vibration points and carry them around or across the plane, spreading knowledge, wisdom to all. Imagine the network of Naga-ness <laughs> that we're missing out on because the cities we're living in, the hoods, the ghettos, the projects, all this, you know what I'm saying, it's off the grid. We're, we're not on our grid, right? We're on their grid with their with their energy, with their, uh, with their you know, fake, uh, you know, information, you know, uh, internet and all that stuff. Then we go off the grid, but we're really going on the grid. When we say we're going off the grid, we're going off the matrix, my God. The fake cities, we're going back to the chakra points man we're going back on our grid if you think of these dragon lines as as mama's energy right the frequency the renewal you will begin to see how it is possible that mama also has energy centers or chakras so again <clears throat> this connects with the hollow earth but the hollow earth is just connected with the vortexes within mama and you see just like a body, right? How these, how they say it is. And I don't know, you know, I can't confirm or deny this. But you look at this female great dragon, male great dragon, my naga. What has this got to do with the worm holes? The worm, the dragon, the dragon. You think it's play play? Kundalini is the dragon rising, the great dragon, male and female, male and female, right? <laughs> male and female kind what they say what, what's the dragon in 1828 with a dismount man what's a worm what's a worm what's a dragon in 1828 a fierce or violent person male or female this man or woman is a dragon well who wrote this dex this this diff this uh dictionary definition <laughs> Who wrote this definition? The hijack that was fighting against you, calling you fierce and violent. They're saying you are so fierce, you are so violent, man, woman, man, woman. You are the dragon. You are the opposition. You are the opposition, which makes you the form of Satan, the devil, right? But the devil got all the drop because you got all the frequency. You got you got Ama. But the devil is just the adversary to these people trying to hijack your higher vibrational points. But mama got the energy. Mama got the energy. We just got to get back in code to get our center on, man. So we can keep rising and rising. Hey, man, who got the drop, man? Who's the worm, man? <laughs> My naga, and what is a worm? Oh, man. Peace and power to the tribe. Stay up. Choose up. Tribe up.